So we're gonna be talking about the CircleCI convenience images that we have available on Docker Hub. We've built these so that it's easier for you to get started in testing and building with a lot of conveniences added right into these images. So let's take a look at a 2.0 configuration file here. If you're on our 1.0 platform, I do suggest that you upgrade so that you can see all of this cool stuff and follow along. Uh, we have our version declaration at the top. We have our job section. We only have one job, which is to run a build. And then we need to select our executor for the build. And this is gonna be Docker. And then our first image that we choose in our Docker section here is going to be the primary container. And that's going to be where all of the execution occurs. And you'll see that we have multiple images selected here. So the second images will be added as services. And so we have this concept of language images and service images. You're going to want to use language images as your primary container because it's going to have a lot of the additional tools that help you get things done. So for instance, in this Python image here, we also have pip installed. Uh, we have browsers installed as well on this image to help you get started with browser testing faster. So always use a language image as your primary container. And then you can add these additional service containers which give you access to things like databases. So we're defining an environment variable in our first image here, which is where everything is going to execute. And we're giving it a URL, which is going to be a database URL. We're telling it that it's a Postgres database, so it'll know to default to the Postgres default port. We include a database and a user already in this Postgres image, which the username is root and the database is circle test. So you can begin with using that username and that database without having to set up and create it yourself. This Postgres image that we have here is slightly modified. You'll notice that it says dash RAM at the end. It runs in memory and that way you're not hitting the disk and this is gonna significantly improve the testing performance on this Postgres database here using this image. So now we're going down to the steps and we're running the usual checkout, which is what you would do. We don't have any code, so it doesn't matter. Here we are installing the Postgres client tools. We don't include any client specific database adapters, so you're gonna to need to install those yourselves. For instance, since we have a Python image here, maybe we wanna install PsychoPG2 so that we can interface with the Postgres database. In this case, I'm going to be installing the Postgres client tools, and that's going to give me access to PSQL. You'll also notice that we're running sudo here. The images do not run under the root account like most containers do by default. We have a circle CI account that runs by default. And so if you want to have any administrative privileges or root privileges, you're going to have to put sudo in front of your commands. Then we have three commands here which is just showing us interacting with the database service that we have created. So it's a PSQL command where we are creating a table called test. We are inserting into that table, and then we are selecting from that table. And if everything goes well, our build should come out green on the CircleCI website. So after committing those changes and pushing them up to my GitHub repository, we automatically trigger the build on CircleCI, and we can see that we have spun up our primary container here, which is the main environment that we're operating under. You can see it all happening here. You'll also notice that we inject a bunch of convenience environment variables into the primary container that you could use potentially in conditionals uh, throughout the rest of your build. So we have the node index, we have the node total, so that's helpful to use and know when you're running parallel builds. You also have a bunch of project information. So it might be useful to check that out. So here we have our database service spinning up and you can see that we are automatically creating our database circle CI test and we're also creating that root role that you can use to log in and start running your tests with. Once again, just to show we are not running as root, you can see that we are running as a circle CI account. And then over here, we have our database tests where we are, insert, we are creating a table and then we are inserting a value into the table. And when we run a select on that table, we can see that the value comes out as well.
If you like this video, do encourage us by hitting the like button and subscribing. All relevant links will be in the description, so if you want to check that out, you can see the link to our 2.0 project tutorial, which has a lot more information on getting you up and started with the 2.0 platform. If you feel like having a chat, you can head on over to our discuss forum where you can talk about this video and anything else related to CircleCI. Thanks for watching.